of Futura Tucson editing here. So I'm quickly interjecting the vlog to just say a couple of things that I didn't really mention in the video. You may remember, if you have been around for a while, that I used to make a video series called Day in the Life of a Research Student. And this video series was filmed at a time when I was studying my masters at King's and the course that I was studying was a research masters in translational cancer medicine. I essentially wanted to document my journey throughout a part of my masters and Honestly guys, it gives me like great joy that to this day I still get comments from you guys saying how those videos were informative and that they have aided your decision into pursuing research. Anyway, the reason for this mid-edit rambly section at the beginning here is just to introduce the series a little bit to any of you guys who are new. Now you may or may not know that literally a couple of weeks ago I got my acceptance to go and study medicine. So obviously I do make a lot of medicine videos on this channel, but I don't want to neglect research and I don't want to neglect my lovely scientists out there who come along for the more research and lab side of things. So to catch you up quickly, after my masters I started working in a lab as a research technician and I do have videos talking about that role but because a lot of that role consisted of talking to patients, consenting, um, doing certain assays for a clinical trial, it involved a lot of confidential data and so I wasn't able to vlog or talk about it as much. However, very recently I have moved back to the lab in which I did my masters and so I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk more about the basic side of science and just the projects I'm working on. And I really hope that this can be informative for any of you who are considering doing a PhD or considering doing a master in research, which is what I did. All right, so let's rewind back to a week and I guess we'll take it from there. Good morning, guys. So today is February the 17th. It is a Sunday, it is 8.30 in the morning. And today is a bit of an unlikely vlog. And I say unlikely vlog because I went out yesterday for Kenji's birthday and I didn't actually get in until like half three. I'm still not fully functioning, but whenever I have drinks, I can't really sleep the next day. I will end up having a nap sometime in the afternoon. So I'm abusing the fact that I don't sleep in massively after I drink because I have a lot of things to do today and I have a lot of responsibilities and I have a lot of things to check off my list and I thought since I am going to the labs today which my god I can't remember the last time that I vlogged in the lab and took you there I thought why not take you with me? It's funny because yesterday loads of people were saying oh this is going to be like a little taster for when you get into Birmingham and you start going to all of the student nights and guys I just I can't hack it anymore like I don't know how I drank so much when I was 18 I feel like I got all of like the clubbing and the partying like out of my system and at the age of 25 I didn't even drink that much last night but the hangovers ah oh, I literally feel like a grandma okay I'm gonna go make myself a coffee <laughs> see you later Okay, so it's a little bit later, it's half 11 now, and I thought since it's such a nice day I'm going to walk to the lab instead of getting the tube, which means I get to take one of my favourite walks through the city. It's really nice from Old Street to London Bridge. It's about a 40 minute walk and it's just essentially right through the heart of the city and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, show you some clips. But yeah, I'm going to walk there, I will listen to my audiobook and I'll catch up with you when I'm that don't know already I have recently changed jobs and I am now working as a research assistant in the lab that I did my masters in and firstly guys please excuse my appearance as I said I was out last night and I'm very tired but I have some experiments planned for the rest of this week so I just want to spend my Sunday preparing everything so that I don't have to worry tomorrow I'm not going to vlog too much of the process essentially I'm just splitting my cells and preparing them for some centrifugation for tomorrow but I think once I'm feeling a little bit more fresh then maybe I will go over a little bit more about my actual project and I guess share with you some of the stuff that I did during my masters but it's it's nice to be back 
Do you know what? I thought since I'm literally just looking at my cells under the microscope, I can chat to you a little bit. But basically, the reason why I've got so many flasks, and this is only just for two cell lines, is that I am trying to enrich exosomes. And I'll talk about the theory in that later on. But essentially, for any of you guys who are familiar, exosomes are a type of microvesicles that are released from cell lines. And Essentially, they are teeny, teeny, tiny um, little particles. And in order to obtain only a small amount of these exosomes or extracellular vesicles, you have to enrich a lot of media. And that means growing huge amounts of cells so that they release these vesicles and then later we can collect them. And through a number of uh, centrifugation pro um, steps, I guess, enrich them and concentrate them so that we can do our experiments. And so the reason why I'm in today and I'm having a look at my cells is I need to see if they are around 90, 80 to 90 percent confluent which means basically how grown out they are and if they are around that level that means I can take off the media that contains serum and serum is essentially um, the food <laughs> that the cells like to um, have in order to grow effectively then I would replace uh, the serum media with some non-serum media, leave it for 24 hours and then tomorrow I can take the uh, media and then do the spinning steps in order to extract my exosomes. Now some of you might be watching this and you have absolutely like no interest in exosomes whatsoever. I think they're really interesting. I don't know, I'm a bit sad though so and exosomes have a special place in my heart just because uh, I did so much work with them during my masters that I feel like I just developed a bit of a <laughs> bit of a strange uh, strange liking for them. So I can see my cells are around 80% confluency and I th I'm so glad I came in on a Sunday actually because they are looking quite packed and I would be worried that if I left them a bit longer then the cells would kind of overgrow and start to die off. Now I don't know if you guys would be able to see this. I'm gonna try. I think I've done this in a previous vlog. I'm getting deja vu. I'm gonna see if I can show you what they look like under the microscope. Oh yeah, you can see them. So this is a type of cell line that is for triple negative breast cancer and they are called MDA MB 231s. And if I just move the flask around a little bit, there you can see this is what they look like. And in case you were wondering, yeah, this is the process. I've just got it under the microscope there. So I think I'm only going to be putting on the serum free media for two of my cell lines, two out of four. So I'm gonna quickly check through these and then I will set up my TC and get all of my reagents ready and stuff. So, yes. <laughs> guys it is an awful lot of plastic that we use and I was actually having a conversation with one of um, my lovely colleagues who was saying the same thing and saying that we have so much uh, I guess there's so much pollution and so much of an effort to try and reduce um, our waste and plastic waste and you know it's almost inevitable that we, we go through so much and it's such a shame but what else can we do because there's no way to recycle some of these plastics and obviously because they're contaminants and they contain cancer cells we have to incinerate everything so anything that goes in these yellow bins which the flasks go into once we're done with them they all get incinerated so if any of you guys are watching this and you are some sort of a environmental or like some sort of a genius please try and come up with a solution i'm going to have a quick look at my other cells because these guys might need splitting or at least they might need new media because when the media starts going yellow like this, instead of the normal red, it usually means that the cells have taken up all of the nutrients. I do just want to show you one more thing in the microscope, and that is that different cell lines have a different phenotype, and by that I mean just the fact that they look completely different. So while the MDA MB231 ones looked a lot more, I guess, thinner and streamlined, these guys, these are BT474s, they look completely different so I just think it's really interesting how they all grow in their own specific way and they all have their own like phenotypes and characteristics. Okay, I've got everything now. Whew. Let's get started. Hey, so it is... Oh, I get back to 
watch. And <laughs> it is 10 past 2 and oh my god, there was more, a lot more work than I had anticipated because I had to like sit a lot more of myself than I thought. But again, as I said, I'm super glad I came and did it today because they weren't looking particularly happy. I have to say, I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm definitely going to get the tube home instead of walking. And you know what? I want to talk to you a little bit more about my project, but I will have to just do that at a later time. I'm gonna go home and probably have a nap. I'll see you guys in the next one. That is the video getting me back into the swing of research videos. I will leave a playlist of a bunch of videos that I've already made from when I was studying and any other related lab videos and I guess until the next one where I will sit and try and make a more comprehensive video about my project and just general cool things in the lab. I will see you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful day and leave any questions and comments below and we can have a chat downstairs. See you next time.